<laughs> uh, what's up everybody so today or last night i passed the 8,000 subscriber mark so i just want to say thanks everybody and it's it's just friggin wicked you know this channel is basically to help people um suffering with uh, life issues or injuries that's because i i suffer with the injury every day and I wood carve to get through it, so basically I do art to get through my injury. Anyways, this morning I was at the mad scientist's house. We had a couple things we had to talk about. Pete's house. And um, I wasn't too sure what I wanted to carve today. I'd, I've been busy the last week doing what normal people do. Like uh, normal stuff, like aka work. I've, I've had to go to work. So... I haven't been carving much in the last week, but I, I was unsure what I wanted to carve today. I could always carve wood spirits, you know what I mean? Like, that's what this channel's based on, you know what I mean? But, and mix them up. So, this is a piece of spalted maple he gave me. Okay, because I told him, I says, I'm, un, I'm unsure what I want to carve today. See the spalt in there? It's pretty, fairly hard, hard wood. There might be a few soft spots in here, but he helped me hollow this out with his drill press. And, uh, what's it called, uh? One of those hole saw things, uh, Fordham, uh, forget the name of it. But anyways, so this would be a succulent holder. I'd hollow this out a bit more after I was done carving the outside edges. And I thought I'd carve different wood spirits on each, each edge. Because that's the best to carve a wood spirit when you got a square edge like this, right? So it would be like a full dimensional wood, four wood spirit succulent plant holder. Or... We went out back and we were looking at different types of wood he had. And this was just sitting, this thing was sitting in his friggin' scrap pile. He's a wood turner and, well, he's a wood, he's a woodworker. He's a pro at what he does. He's unsatisfied with this because it has the crack in it. I seen it in the scrap pile. I'm like, what the hell are you doing with that? He goes, oh, it's junk. I'm like, why? He goes, oh, it's cracked. Like, what the hell? This is a London plane, guys. You can see the weird grain in there and stuff like that. So it's a London plane tree. There's not too many of them around here, but it's pretty orange. So I said, can I have it? He goes, well, take it. I'm going to burn it if you don't. So I've talked about my other videos, like opening your mind. So I don't, I think I'm going to work on this piece today. Okay. This so I can carve in no time and I'll just do that on my own time, I guess. And maybe I'll show you guys how it turns out. But anyways, so what I got planned to do with this, you guys, I've never done it before. Well, I kind of did a little bit something, but it's, I'm just challenging myself. I'm just having fun, okay? So this is a wood, uh, London plain wooden bowl, okay? Shit like this takes lots of sanding. So what I'm, what I plan, oh yeah, I want to show you something else that I got from them. This is epoxy resin. And yellow cedar uh, bird's eye burl. Look at that burl, guys. Pete got some of it. But he made this um, he made this thing, and he's kind of unhappy with it. Because he's, he's a perfectionist at what he does. Absolutely. I'm not a perfectionist. He is a perfectionist. But I don't know. I forget why he's unhappy with it. But if you look in there, it looks like a goddamn ocean scene. You see the bubbles? That's, I think, maybe why he's happy with it. Because, see that white stuff in there, deep in there? It looks like a coral reef. But it's those are bubbles. But it's like a big bubble. They're like air pockets. But I I can't get my mind off this. And I freely, I, I got it from him. Because I love looking at it. It's just so, it's just so, I don't know, majestic looking. It's just so cool to me. If you guys can really see inside there it looks like a coral reef in there and then the, the waves inside are just like rapid current going past the reefs and stuff so yeah look at that and that's just got a little it's epoxy resin it's got a little bit of blue tint in it but it reminds me of an ocean scene and i just love it you know this is this is probably one of my favorite pieces i have now to look at to kind of open your mind right see inside there isn't that cool I think it's fucking wicked. So anyways, what I'm going to do with this bowl, what I'm going to try and do, I got um, some dollar store epoxy here, okay? I got like four packs of this stuff. Well, this stuff's like a buck fifty each, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some lines down here, okay? Like um, just like 
sporadic lines around here and maybe swirl it in the middle. I'm going to use my cut saw bit. This is quarter inch. No, sorry, one eighth. Cut saw extreme. It's a pretty new burr. Zoom in. See how aggressive these are, guys? You did see it. And it's on my Dremel. I'm trying my 4300 again. Uh, Mad Scientist fixed it for me. So let's see how it works. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some deep rivets in here. Okay? Along here, whatever. Just cut some lines. And kind of make it look like water's flowing into the bowl. I don't know if this is going to turn out, guys. You know what I mean? And if it doesn't turn out, I'm still going to make this video anyways. I'm just showing you kind of like open how to open your mind. And... <laughs> Lots of my carvings in my last videos haven't turned out like so, but whatever. I'll still be able to sell them. That's for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the lines in here, right? How I want it to come down. Like I'm going to try and make them flow like S lines. S lines are important, guys. You know what I mean? S lines. Long stretchy S's. Short S's. All S lines. If you look at everything, it... S lines are in everything and they're very important when it comes to art. Uh, I've been told that by a well-known tattoo artist in town here. So anyways, I'll draw these lines on and then I'll cut the the, rip, the ditches with this. And then this epoxy is going to be hard to put in here because it's not a flat surface, right? So when I pour the epoxy into my cut lines, it's going to want to run down. You know what I mean? And then pile up at the bottom. So I think I'm going to have to, this is why I say I'm not sure if it's going to work. I'm going to have to pour the epoxy and kind of just keep it level in there, right? But when it's drying, it's going to overlap each other. So who knows? Let's just fucking try it, see if it turns out. If it doesn't, oh well. What have I lost? A couple hours? But I've enjoyed doing it anyway. So let me get set up here, guys. Right on. guys so I got all my lines cut in there not that deep I want to make them I don't know how this is gonna work I don't friggin know how it's gonna work anyways so that was like I don't know five this London that was like five minutes carving ten minutes this London planes pretty hard stuff I guess I should ask the mad scientist if it's hard or soft but it's fairly hard so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this aluminum cutter into my um, Fordham uh, industrial flex shaft, okay? And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna clean up the lines with this aluminum cutter, okay? You guys, this is, I, all my burrs are cut saws that I use, like this type for wood carving. And uh, you can, you can follow the link below in the description below and use the code CFUSION if you want to get yourself a cut saw bit. These bits last a long time, guys, but I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put this in. And I'm going to clean up all the lines, hopefully, using this. If it works out! Okay, got, I got all my lines fairly cleaned up. You know, you got to try and make sure they're everything's nice and smooth round like no niches out of it I don't honestly guys I don't know how this is going to turn out okay so I'm going to do some sanding with this guys I got a video on how to make these on your 90 degree Dremel see I got the tape back on there this one's broken but I'm still using it I got a brand new one but I'll use my brand new one when this one's actually finally just hot enough or I'll sand uh, with this this uh, little flapper disc I made. You can see in my uh, how I make these in this on my uh, playlists. It's a one eighth nut and bolt with a double up backup bolt to lock it in place. So I got my lines cut in. So I think that I've done this before. Like when I pour the epoxy, it might not stick in there. It might just pop out. You know what I mean? You can see how deep I've gone in there. So what I'm going to do in each, in the middle of this lines, I'm going to use, middle of these cuts, I'm going to use this cut saw, okay? It's a cut saw extreme. I think it's a taper burr. You can see how aggressive it is. 
and I'm going to go in the middle of my lines and I'm going to carve a deeper channel. Okay, and I'm not going to clean that up, hoping that when I use this, it creates fuzzy hairs and a little deeper channel. So when I pour the epoxy in there, it will stick to the little fuzzies. I might sand it out a little bit, but it will stick to the fuzzies and not have a reason to pop out when it's dry. I don't know. I'm just making this up. What the hell? Okay guys, so you gotta remember this is my first time ever doing something like this, so I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So I'm not spending a lot of time, you know what I mean? Like this wasn't the mad scientist perfect bowl that he made for me to carve. It was a piece of his junk that he didn't want, you know. So all you can do is hope it works out. So I got all that stuff carved out there. Okay. It's cleaned up as much as I want for now. Um, so what I'm going to do is, what's going to make or break this piece is when I pour the epoxy, if I can get it to sit in these channels, because you know, like, like I said before, it's going to want to run down there. So I'm going to have to hold this bowl when it's poured and be like, and it's going to start overlapping and underlapping because I'm going to be moving it back and forth and like this, right? So who knows? All you can do is hope. I guess all you have is hope. Hope, hope, hope. I'm ready to pour my epoxy. I just kind of out taped the outside of some of the, the ditches just to kind of know where my trails are. And for all the woodworking pros out there and wood turners and stuff like that, I know this is whatever. So let me make something very clear to you. I'm doing this for fun, okay? I don't expect it to turn out. I'm not a pro. I'm a beginner, and it's about having fun and challenging yourself, okay? Okay. And also, I'm going to be hitting the epoxy with this little torch. Just keep the flame like that far away from it, and that gets the bubbles out of the epoxy. Oh, and make it a real quick pass. <sighs> Epoxy's hard now. I don't know if this is like almost kind of a mission impossible job, I think. Yeah, so I don't know, man. Fuck. Ah. Okay, so you can see here, I got all the epoxy poured in. It was a pain in the ass. It was a pain in the ass to try and make it stick above, like, uh, I could have made little walls along the side with tape or whatever, but whatever, I don't really care. So it looks like a big pile of blue crap right now. You can see my first pour there, I poured way too much epoxy. Because it just went all over the place, this one here. And after that, I kind of toned it down a bit. So yeah, you can see the big pile of blue smurf poo there. Right here. But whatever, so they call it five minute epoxy. It it cure it heals in five minutes or whatever you want to say, but it doesn't truly. It's still kind of soft. I can dig my finger into it. So I'm gonna let this sit for a day or two till it gets solid. Hopefully it does. It's dollar store stuff. But uh, and then I'll uh, carve carve it flat and sand it and see what see how it looks. You gotta remember when this stuff was like for here example when it was curing. I had to hold it like this and roll it back and forth, you know, so it would go up and down, the pool would go up and down, up and down, so it's overlapped each other quite a bit. So, but I don't know. All we can do is wait and see what it looks like when it's done uh, 
Being worked on, okay? Being worked on. So this goddamn bowl, I should have really like uh, doubled up my lines and spaced them proper because you can see that they're, it just looks like a piece of crap. So instead I started working on this guy. Oh yeah. Do what you're good at people. <laughs> See, I was not happy with the way this turned out, so I just started working on this. Um, got all that spalt in there. Thanks for this piece of wood, Pete. It's beautiful. But uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to cut in the beard hairs and connect them all. Make everything. See how I got the mustaches? They're spiraling around. All going that way. I'll make the same with the beard hairs all the way around. Succulent plant holder, shitty two year old made bowl kind of thing. Looked better just when it was the bowl. I got told to turf the bowl. So I'm turfing the bowl. Goddamn bowl.